in the glitzy, ego-driven world of hip-hop superstardom, Sean Diddy Combs has long cultivated an aura of invincibility. From his humble beginnings hustling on the unforgiving streets of Harlem to his current standing as a business mogul with a net worth approaching $1 billion, Combs has carried himself with a brash confidence befitting rap royalty. He is the self-anointed king of New York, a cultural titan who has spent decades dominating the music industry, corporate boardrooms, and the celebrity social scene with an unshakable sense of authority. So when a tidal wave of legal troubles came crashing down on the 53-year-old impresario this past year, many expected Combs to respond with his trademark bravado. A barrage of lawsuits from former associates, sexual assault allegations from multiple women, and even a federal human trafficking investigation would be met with the same unflappable swagger that's been his calling card since the early days of Bad Boy Records. If anyone could emerge unscathed from such a litany of damaging claims, the conventional wisdom held, it would be the indomitable Diddy which is what made the rap icon's first public statement since the firestorm of legal woes so jarring, and to many, deeply unsettling in its profound disconnect from reality. In a cryptic video posted to Instagram last week, Combs is shown embracing someone in a warm hug, standing in what appears to be a prayer circle, and boldly facing powerful winds on a beach with his arms outstretched. Over these scenes, his voice narrates with an eerie calmness. I'm not hysterical, not frantic, not anxious. I'm steady in the storm. The storm looks bad. The storm looks tough. But I'm steady. The video's caption doubles down on this defiant, almost meditative tone. Sometimes we create our own storms and then get mad when it rains. To the casual observer, Combs' social media musings could be interpreted as the philosophical reflections of a man at peace with the universe, unshaken by the turbulence swirling around him. A zen-like embodiment of remaining grounded and focused amidst life's inevitable squalls. But for those with a window into the very real, very serious legal calamities Combs is currently facing, the video landed with all the gravity of a tone-deaf toddler play acting as a Navy SEAL. Because far from some metaphorical storm of his own creation, the rap mogul is staring down a potentially existential threat to his empire, legacy, and personal freedom. He thinks he's untouchable, one former Combs associate said bluntly when asked about the cryptic video. All these women have come forward with their stories. There's a federal investigation looking into potential human trafficking and he has the audacity to act like he's just peacefully meditating through a little storm. The source's outrage gets to the core of why Combs' social media antics have sparked such fierce backlash. Because for the alleged victims and their advocates, the storm the music mogul is currently weathering represents years of trauma, abuse, and the normalization of a toxic culture of sexual misconduct and intimidation. The lawsuits and allegations paint a disturbing portrait of Combs as a serial predator who used his power, wealth, and influence to sexually coerce and victimize those around him for decades. From accusations of drugging and assaulting women, to fostering an environment rife with sexual harassment and human trafficking, the charges leveled against the bad boy founder carry a weight that his breezy video update seems to minimize. For Diddy to act like he's just some monk finding inner peace while all these brave women have come forward to share their horrific experiences is a slap in the face, said Desiree Washington, president of the advocacy group Voices for Survivors. These allegations aren't just some bad publicity storm that's going to blow over if he meditates hard enough. We're talking about lives that were forever shattered by the trauma of sexual violence. Washington's words underscore the profound disconnect between Combs' public persona and the realities of the legal reckoning he is facing. Because for all of his bluster about being steady in the storm, the music mogul is currently an uncharged co-conspirator in an active federal case examining allegations that his corporate empire participated in trafficking women and underage girls across state lines over a period of decades. If those charges are proven true, the iconic rap figure who once proclaimed himself the ruler's back could be looking at a harsh new moniker, federal inmate. 
I get that Diddy wants to maintain his image as this ultra-confident, ultra-successful boss who's unshakable, said celebrity branding expert Kelly Ramirez. But there's a point where that manufactured persona starts to look completely delusional when you're staring down credible allegations of criminal misconduct on a massive scale. Ramirez notes that Combs' apparent refusal to take the allegations seriously and project the appropriate level of contrition could irreparably damage his brand's marketability, even if he manages to avoid criminal charges. Because in the modern era of accountability for powerful celebrities and public figures, an attitude of smug defiance in the face of such disturbing claims simply won't be tolerated by corporations, sponsors, or the general public. He needs to get ahead of this and show that he understands the gravity of what he's being accused of, Ram Maurice advised, because doubling down on this unbothered act just makes him seem completely disconnected from reality at best, and like an arrogant sociopath at worst. Of course, there are those in Combs' inner circle who insist the rap mogul is taking the allegations much more seriously than his social media presence may suggest. They claimed the video was simply an attempt to project an aura of confidence and control during a turbulent time, not a dismissal of the very real legal peril he finds himself in. Diddy has been around long enough to know that appearing weak or rattled will only make him look guilty in the public eye, said one source close to the music icon. The video was about letting everyone know he's still focused and in charge, despite everything being thrown at him. It's just classic Diddy bravado, perhaps. But for a man whose personal brand has been so intrinsically linked to hyper-masculine posturing and an unwavering sense of dominance, that same classic Diddy bravado is colliding with the societal reckoning around issues of sexual misconduct, abuse of power, and accountability for the cultural elite. In this new era, projecting an air of nonchalant indifference simply won't be enough to make credible accusations of sexual assault, harassment, and human trafficking disappear. Quite the opposite, in fact, Combs' seeming refusal to acknowledge the gravity of the claims has only amplified the outrage, drawing stinging rebukes from advocates and critics alike. If he really wants to get through this storm like he keeps saying, the first step is to take responsibility and show some basic human empathy for the people who say they were victimized under his watch, Washington stated. Because until he does that, no amount of social media posturing is going to make this go away. The victims deserve to be heard and believed. For a figure like Combs, one of the last true titans of the hip-hop mogul era, such a public reckoning represents a potentially legacy-defining moment. The self-styled king of New York now finds his kingdom under siege from all sides, from the alleged victims bravely taking him to court, to the federal authorities examining whether his corporate empire crossed into criminal territory to a general public growing increasingly intolerant of the rich and powerful avoiding accountability. How Combs ultimately navigates this perfect storm of legal troubles will not only determine his future business prospects and personal freedom, but could cement his place in the cultural history books. Will he go down as the flashy rap impresario who let hubris and arrogance blind him to his own misconduct? Or can the steady in the storm persona he's projecting somehow steer him through these treacherous waters and preserve his status as hip-hop royalty? Only time will tell if the King of New York has finally met a storm too powerful for even his oversized ego to withstand. But one thing is clear, for Combs and alleged perpetrators like him, the days of avoiding accountability through bravado alone are rapidly coming to an end. Because in this new era, no amount of social media posturing can make a storm of this magnitude simply blow over.